well, Lee, you must be absolutely gutted. I, from my, from our perspective, Ketchum played quite well there. Must be feeling really hard done by not to come away with at least something from this game. Yeah, we are. But now it's a time for we can't keep losing games one nil. So I might need to act and change a little bit, and um, probably need to might need to bring a couple of fresh faces in. You can't keep losing one nil. Yeah, we've played well. We didn't get enough strikes off in the first half where we had a real dominant spell. Second half, you know, look, I've got to say that they're very direct and play to a system where their players know it and are good at it and they don't give you a minute's rest. But um, I thought we actually weathered parts of it and probably should have got a goal. But, um, you know, we went with Dakari, Andre and Andrew up front. First half, they done well. I thought they ran out of steam second half, to be honest. Um, I couldn't see what happened at the end with the corners where they, they gave them to the home side. Uh, I believe it was another corner. But I have to, we have to have a serious think about what we're doing here because, um, you know, that's a couple of 1-0s. Games have slipped away from us where the minimum we should get is a 0-0. Were you happy with the sort of tactical switch up you started the game with? You said there you brought some different players on to start with. Did you feel that that, that worked and is that something you might look looked forward to uh, to exploring a bit more? I thought it worked because they done very well in the second half at Buxton. And I thought, you know, I, I always say to them, if you come on or you're in the team, you do well, I'll give you opportunity. So I done that and I thought first half it did work. A um, couple of shots, a couple of bits, round the box, a little bit more cleverness, a little bit more street smarts we might have got something second half I thought they had a spell where we couldn't get out and then uh, look we finished strong again but we finished strong in every game because the lads are, are very very fit and, and cover a lot of ground um, so now we, we go to uh, Barwell in the FA Cup and I watched them on uh, Monday night uh, on, on a 4G um, you know we need, we need to look at we need to look at um, you know, what personnel is correct. We've got quite a few injuries at the moment, but the, the patching them, so that's not an excuse, by the way. I don't make excuses about injuries because every club's got them. Um, so we, we need to look at, um, on Thursday, who's right, and uh, then we'll go to Barwell and we'll be all right. Just a word on uh, Cameron Gregory, the goalkeeper. How well, how pleased were you with his performance? He made some cracking saves today. I think the, the one that was the deflection in the first half was excellent. Um, I couldn't really see... What happened? I seen the ball deviate, and I thought, oh, and he got a great save on it, and a couple of others. And you know, he's been very good since we came in. Um, Steve Cottrell rang me about, and when I was interested in him, and gave him a great reference. So uh, that's okay. You know, we're, we're happy with him. Um, you know, Brad again, uh, Gary Storer epitomises everything we're trying to do. I thought he was excellent and covered a lot of ground. I need more of the players to get in the the, uh, the sort of levels they're putting in and we just need to be a little bit more clinical in the final third. I always think we'll create chances because the way we want to play and we did again tonight. Um, we just need someone to take some of them. You mentioned Barwell on Saturday. What needs to happen between today and Saturday that, uh, that will give us a bit of an edge against Barwell? Well, first of all, it's the FA Cup. So, you know, it's a one-off game. Secondly, I'm hoping that people might return to fitness. Uh, and we'll need to look at the get the injury list tomorrow. And uh, thirdly, well, where's your pride? Where's your pride? We went away and drew two games, uh, Buxton and Boston. You know, a, a draw today would have been fair, but you know, you're not getting anything being a nice team in, in this league. You're not getting anything. You need to be. We need to be a bit more ruthless. We need to be a bit more street smart. We need to be a bit more aggressive at times. And. Um, you know, the, the lads understand that and they understand they've got to get with the game quickly. I, as the manager, take responsibility. So I'll need to look at what we're doing as a staff and I'll need to also look at, do we need to, it'll be difficult before the FA Cup, but we are trying to sign a couple of players as we speak now. So I'm going to freshen it up. Um, as you know, the FA Cup will be difficult because they won't let people be cup tied. But um, yeah, we're going to have a couple of changes. We've got a nucleus of a good squad. We need some additions now. Following the FA Cup, it's uh, somewhat of a really difficult spell for Ketcher in the uh, <laughs> certainly the next three games. How are you going to approach those, or is it just a case of get Barwell out of the way first? Well, I'll be, well Barwell's the most important game now, but um, I think we've got Kiddy at home, then Kings Lynn. So Kidderminster, um, we're at home, and we to both of them. So, you know, we're at home, but I, I don't... I go into most of the games. I don't have any real fear. I know their strengths and I know what they can bring, but I always prefer to work on what we're doing. Now, I've got to make sure that we're at it more. I've got to make sure that we're 
in the second half when we, you know, we had a bad 20 minutes against Alfreton. We had a bad 20 minutes today. Luckily today we didn't concede one or two. Uh, we conceded the one, sorry, we didn't go two or three. So we're always in the game. Now, we need to try and iron out these silly mistakes. We need to be, like I say, a bit more clinical in the final third. It was the last pass tonight on a couple of occasions, but also I thought we could get some strikes away. You know, which we may be. Uh, we'll, we'll watch. Look, we'll watch the the game back on Thursday. It'll be clipped by Frankie and myself. The players will watch it all back, and uh, then we'll need to put that to bed really quickly and go to Barwell. Lee, thank you very much. It uh, must be gutting, but another good performance. We'll see you Saturday. Thank you.